We're here at the URS Scott Wilson offices in London to introduce the Scott Wilson Millennium Project, a registered charity wholly run and supported by the staff who work here. The charity is focused on the relief of poverty, hardship and distress among children in developing countries throughout the world. This year, 17 Scott Wilson employees are off to Kenya to the Malaika community, an area prone to serious water and food shortages. Women and children often have to walk up to 12 hours a day to collect water for their families. This means children cannot attend school and are deprived of an education. To help fix Malika's water problem and improve the livelihoods of the children that live there, the Scott Wilson Millennium Project is heading out to the community to build a sand dam. A sand dam is a simple concrete structure built across the riverbed to capture seasonal rain and give a continuous and clean water source to the local people. To build the sand dam, we will be working with project partners, Inspire Worldwide, the Africa Sand Dam Foundation, Excellent Development and, of course, the local community. Right, day one, we're off to the site. So you are site foreman for the day. How are you feeling yeah. about that? Very good. Up for it. You seem pretty like yeah, getting stuck in there. We are. We are. I'm um, Mavia Alini, which is medium stones. Right. So you're passing them down the line. Passing down the line. Well, you have interrupted me. Hello, Mr. Cow. Have you found some water? Starting off with three bags of sand and one of cement. Right. You turn it by mixing it from one pile into the next. As you can see, they're mixing it from this pile onto this great big pile. Yeah. Then it comes to the cement mixing process. Make a big well, fill it with water, and then start mixing the cement in. Once the cement has been mixed, it's gone into one barrel, into the other, and into the dam. Simple. Simple. Three words to sum up how you're feeling right now. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Very tired. Yeah. Quite excited. And a little bit under pressure. How you doing, Kate? How are you feeling? Tired? Right, so how are you going, girls? Three piles. Right. Ours gone. That's all there still. Oh, so you're being a bit smug, are you? Smug. <laughs> We've got to move on and help out other people's piles now. Oh, I bet you're not happy about that. No. So, Michael, how's the meal? <laughs> What's in there? Beans, beans. And more beans? Good for the heart. Right. We've got quite a lot left. I love beans, almost as much as Rowan did. Yeah, that's my, uh, <laughs> that's my attempts. Mark's finished, Mark, do you want some more? Oh, no. I'll finish. I'll finish. I'll finish. <laughs> what have you got, any? Bali. Is it as delicious as it looks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of the sand dam um, that the Scott Wilson Millennium Project um, is helping to build here today, yeah. what are the benefits that it will give to the community? This area is totally dry and we believe water is everything or water is life. So with that sand dam, the farmers will be able to grow crops and the crops will be able to give them income to pay for school fees to their children who are currently not going to school because of school fees. As you saw the day before, they came here looking for money and they could not afford to get the money from the parents. How far do you have to go to collect the water now? Now. Yeah. Very far. Very far. Yeah. 
So with the sand dam, will it be much closer to collect the water? Yeah. Looking very hot, Mark, in that. Thank you very much. Matching gloves as well. Wow. I like to stay safe. Then I have a nice lightweight shirt mm -hmm. covering the shoulders to respect cultural reasons. And then I have these nice uh, neon pink gloves, essential for rock carrying, digging. Stop me from getting any blisters. Right. Does it really all have to match in pink? Well, you know what? This dam building business is pretty fashionable. I don't want to be caught unawares. Right, so what's your experience with the Kakamba people so far? Yeah, they're all amazing, really hard work. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's unbelievable some of the things that the older ones are doing. Really? Like yeah. what? Just lifting rocks that I can't shift. The local community that we're working with has been amazing. Yeah. They're very strong yeah. and yeah. they work yeah. very hard. Yeah. Is that what the people here always like? Uh, yes, the people I can say uh, in this area, they are very being motivated. Uh, uh, the main thing which has uh, made the main the thing which has made them to be motivated to work is lack of enough food and uh, water. Yeah. As many are walking as far as 8 kilometers to go and collect your water. So after the sand dam construction, the water will be near them and they will get time to work in their farms. Yeah. Patrick, how do you think today has been? <laughs> the dam's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's are you happy with us? Yes. Yeah. Good. Very happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Nice action, Liz. Yeah. Uh, but I think you should be going a little bit faster. Very good. 